the television hour. Okay. All right. So this pie chart here shows essentially an hour of programming. Station ID comes right at the top of the program. It is required by law. They must put a station ID at the top of the hour. And the station ID has to say uh, what the channel is, what the call sign of the station is, and I forget if it's the city of broadcasting to or the city their tower is located in. I'm not sure which. But Como, Channel 4, Seattle. King, Channel 5, Seattle. That's how they do that. So that's required. It has to happen at the top of the hour. In this first segment, uh, the producer's name needs to run in that first segment, and that's by SAG contract. SAG is the Screen Actors Guild, and the producers have a contract that says the name must appear in this first segment. Um, and this has to do, again, with credits, legalese, and um, awards. Then you might have a commercial break here in this part. From the three to ten minute mark, there's never a commercial break. And the reason is, this is when the Nielsen ratings are taken. And the Nielsen ratings determine what the value of a program is. It determines who's watching and what they're worth. And it it's very important to the TV station that they get the highest, the TV program, that they get the highest rating possible. So in order to do that, they make sure there's no commercial break in here because they don't want you tuning away. Usually around 10 minutes, there's a cliffhanger before they go to commercial. Some, something that like you got to stay tuned to see what happens. And then they'll run the commercial break and then they'll come back to a resolution of the cliffhanger. After the, and it's usually something simple like, you know, oh my God, he's got a gun. And then they come back after the commercial break and, oh, it wasn't loaded. You know, moving on. But that's usually about 30 seconds of the programming is devoted to setting up this cliffhanger and resolving the cliffhanger. Now they'll get to another break and they'll have something called local and national ads. So the national ads are, are already pre-built into the program. The local ads, your local affiliate plugs them in where, where allowed by the network by the by the program producers there's a thing occasionally you'll see a commercial that's cut off like it'll just before the end of the commercial there's a it cuts to the next commercial uh, what's usually happening there is it's called upcutting and it's when the timing on the local commercial is off and it hits a second or two too early and it cuts the national ad before it finishes and if you see an upcut you will usually see another upcut uh, about a minute later when they get out of the local ads, going back into the national ads. Then from 33 to 40, the Nielsen ratings are taken again. This is for half-hour programs. But again, nobody wants to put a commercial break in here because they don't want to lose their audience. They want to make sure they can seal the deal with Nielsen. So there's usually no commercial break in here. Again, they'll have a cliffhanger, a resolution, cliffhanger, resolution. Usually in the last sec segment of the show, there'll be a closed caption ID. This is closed caption provided by, and they'll say who did it. This is an important ad because the whoever paid for the closed captioning to be on the program, and remember, closed captioning is now required by the FCC, so they're required to have closed captioning. Whoever paid for that closed captioning, their ad is embedded in the program at this point. That means their ad is going to stay with this program for as long as contractually possible. So it's a good deal to get your ad as a closed captioning sponsor because you know your ad's going to follow wherever that show, pro, show airs. And the closed captioning IDs have a statute of limitations. They only run for so long. But you know your ad is going to be, on every, is going to be in that segment every affiliate that shows it. So it's a, kind of a big deal. And then, of course, at the end of the program, they have their end roll credits. And again, they... They, the TV station must run them, but again, they don't have to make them legible. Usually, uh, the network programming will run their credits for real because they're the network. They can do it. But if it's a, if it's a uh, uh, syndicated program, they'll frequently blow the credits off and just race through them real quick to get them over with. 